Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Trogdor and welcome back to the PTL. I'm kind of sort of back on the schedule about doing my games and recording things. So uh, yeah, for the four of you that are paying attention to that, but you know, who cares? Who cares? Uh, well, I do. Otherwise I wouldn't be uploading at all. Anyway, so we came off of a few... How would you call those rough losses? Uh, I learned my lesson. I remembered how to play Pokemon before going into this game. Don't worry, gamers. So, but I'm up against a really tough opponent. My opponent is JB Westside in the Cincinnati Dreads. My opponent's draft is Dragapult, Copperaja, Weezing Galar, Arcanine, Blastoise, Vanillix, Driftblim, Pangoro, Dubwool, and Rhydon. You see the six that my opponent decided to bring, so. Uh, I'll get into why that it's on, honestly not surprised like Dragapult huge threat Blastoise We allowed Shell Smash for some reason Arcanine is just a bulky boy So my draft of course I've got the Duraludon, Clefable, Serena, Gastrodon, Ice Q, Shindelure, Surfetch, Skuntank, Exilgore, and Rotom Fun So I elected to bring these six right here So I believe I'm rocking dual Scarfers because Dragapult is scary number one Um I need to outspeed it because not even Excelgor can, well, Excelgor can naturally outspeed it, but Excelgor just kind of looks really poo-poo this match, if I'm being honest. So I'm bringing dual Scarfers to check it and Clefable with a bunch of bulk. I was like, it didn't look good because of the the wheezing and the Kaparaja on my opponent's team, but I think I'm rocking just like fully Spideff and then also a fully Fizzdef Gastrodon just because I'm spooked by it so much. and. So those are my wall core. Skuntank, I've got like, what do you call it? Sucker Punch? Um, otherwise I forget what the set was. And then Surfetched, uh, scrappy close combat, just like bamboozles everything that's not named Weezing Galar. Weezing is gonna probably be the toughest thing for me this match if I'm being honest gamers. Like, you know, Dark and Fairy is, or wait, or is it Fairy and Poison? I forget. What What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it quad resists the... Oh yeah, it can't be dark type because it quad resists my close combat. So, that's his only gotta be his only switch for it. Not the Dragapult because I've got Scrappy, but it seems like everyone forgets about Scrappy. So, I noticed my opponent did not bring the Rhydon. So, Rotom outspeeds everything non-boosted and gets free Volt switches so that I can switch into my Thick Boys or Skuntank or Sir and just like get a big damage off. So let's get into it. I think like my offensive mons have a decent matchup here. So he goes into Kaparaza, I go into Rotom Fun. As I Volt Switch, luckily he doesn't have the ride on. And I go into Sir right here. I know Copper can be a really tanky boy. It gets a lot of decent coverage, but I don't think it can hit Sir Fetch. I remembered right before the battle start that it gets Power Whip, so Gastrodon can't be my check to it. Because if I just lose Gastroton right away, it's like, oh great, Arcanine runs through me, Dragapult runs through me even more, Blastoise is a problem. Well, Blastoise is a problem if it gets off of Selish Mass, not even Storm Drain, which I remembered. Did I remember it? Which I remembered. And yeah, so I go into Sir right here, and something is going, he goes for the rocks, as something's going to take a close combat, and surprise, it's the Weezing. Weezing's got the neutralizing gas, not the levitate right here, so that's a free gastrodon for me, and I can go a little bit um, offensive here. Uh, leftovers happen, uh, lots of hazards happen, in, and ooh, Earth Power is doing a lot there, gamers. Like, I really like in how Gastrodon is faring offensively here. So I go for another Earth Power. Vanilla uh, can, can tank that. He's got the Snow Warning, so I'm, of course, worried about the Aurora Veil. Luckily, Clefable doesn't take damage for the rocks, and as I get taunted, um, I was like, wait a minute, why did I get poisoned? I have Magic Garden. I was like, oh wait, I can still get poisoned. It just doesn't do anything. So now I can't get burned by anything. Now I can't go to sleep as, as if anything would have that. Can't get parried. So, you know, this is actually a pretty good space for Clefable, and there it is, the Aurora Veil. Fire Blast wouldn't have taken it out anyway. Uh, Flash Cannon is doing a pretty chunk to me, and oh look, I miss a Fire Blast. Who cares though, honestly? Like, that, 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 that just kind of happens. Wasting more turns of the Veil as I go into my Skunk. I want to get rid of those T-Spikes because otherwise Gastrodon will have a huge problem. The Veil is still up, so that's looking like it's... Um, is it... I don't think it's the light clay or anything. So I go into Rotom Fun right here. 
So there's that power whip, so Gastrodon would not have been safe right there. As Arcanine comes in, I can freely Volt Switch my heart out. Oh yeah, that is Light Clay um, on the, the vanilla. So I just gotta like stall out the turns of these Aurora Veils right here. And I managed to throw a Toxic on the Dragapult. Luckily I didn't get taunted this time. So I was actually hoping to catch the Arcanine with that, um, with that Toxic, but it's like, oh, Dragapult comes in, Toxic, the Veil is gonna be up be gone soon so this is really great for me and my opponent does this and I just kind of look at this and I'm just like um <laughs> so I I was like oh oh no oh no that dragapult just freaking bamboozled me really hard right there so I'm looking at what I can do uh yeah I can bring in Clefable but Clefable got down to eh, it's still 60% health like I could go for the the healing move like the it looks like it's a special Dragapult at this point, which Clefable is fully spadef, so I don't really know what it can hurt me with. So I was thinking of going Clefable, heal and stuff. Then I'm looking at the how weakened my opponent's team is. And remember, I've got a, a, a Sharf, a, a Sharf, a Scarfed Chandelure up my sleeve, and it bops the, the Dragapult. It outspeeds in two hit shots the Vanillix at this point. It outspeeds in two shots the Kaparaja at this point. Uh, wheezing, I can probably get with two Shadow Balls. The only concern is the Blastoise and the Arcanine right here. So I'm thinking, I'm really hoping that I can at some point get Blastoise to kill something when it smashes and then get my Surf fetched in and bop it with a Leaf Blade. That's what I'm hoping. So I believe right here I go into my Chandelure as Dragapult smartly gets out of town as I go for the Shadow Ball, and that's doing pretty big damage. And that Spadef drop right there is actually really huge. Had that not happened, I would have obviously gotten out of town. Probably gone into... Jeez, what would I have even gone into? Not my not my Chili Pepper, not my Purple Haze. Uh, probably, like, I was... I had Chariot in the bag. I probably would have gone into my Clef and just, like, not even sold it out. I would have... I probably would have gone into Skunk to catch it with a Toxic or something like that. But based on the damage, it looked like kind of a more offensive Arcanine. But anyway, that Spid Death Drop forced my opponent to switch and come out with the Kaparaja as I go for another big Shadow Ball. And that's just going to drop. Like, there's no chance for that Kaparaja to survive make it time. So Arcanine comes back in, and this time I know I can't kill it, and it's just going to get me back really hard. As he goes for the crunch, so I'm hoping to catch it with the Toxic this time, but smartly enough, Weezing comes in. Obviously immune to that. But I have the, what do you call it? Oh, yeah. It's, this was a little bit unfortunate for me, as, uh, yeah, I was able to get off my Roar, luckily, as Blastoise comes in. And I'm hoping that I can... Uh, yeah, I go for the Toxic. I was debating, like, is he gonna uh, smash now or attack me? Um, if he attacks and I go for the Roar, I'm dead. But if he smashes and I go for the Roar, that's amazing. But in either scenario, it actually works better for me to go for the Toxic, assuming I hit, which I luckily did. So Blastoise has Toxic now, and I get my free into... Oh, I went to Rotom Fun here. I should have gone for Surfetch. Oh, why did I go into Rotom here? Surfresh would have been the much better play. Then I could have gone for the Leaf Blade. That would have hit Weezing a little bit, and then I could have started firing off close combats. Ah, oh, that would have been a smarter play. But either way, he that's going to force him out, definitely, as I go for the Thunderbolt. And two of these is going to get rid of that Arcanine, which makes Chandelure's life so much easier. As I... I, I noted earlier that the Arcanine wasn't Intimidate, so I had to lock myself in the Shadow Ball every single time. Not that it would have done a worse job than Fire Blast. Like, you, you spam Shadow Ball, like, always. Like, it's not doing much more to the Blastoise or the Dragapult. Like, I honestly didn't need any move besides Shadow Ball. So Vanilla comes in, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and I take another thing out. So looking really pretty here like honestly gamers because I honestly wasn't sure like if he thought that I would be slower because I've been pretty obvious like with my scarfing plays but well I don't know I've been kind of obvious with the Chandelure scarfing plays too so maybe it's like oh which one of those is the scarf well I'm rocking dual scarfers because that's the thing I do now as Dragapult comes in so I'm thinking I still outspeed you 
but I'm locked into the Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt, and I'm gonna outspeed you next time, and Toxic's gonna take a soul, but then he starts to dance, and this is where I'm just like, I thought you were a special Dragapult with the, the thing, but no, it's physical Dragapult that just so happens to have the tech that can take down the Gastrodon. And Rotom goes down because all of that jazz, but the hail and the toxic start to take its toll, and I'm looking at this like, something's gotta die. Chandelure can't come in and revenge easily, Clefable is just like gonna bop, but then I remember, I have Quick Attack on my Surf Edge, and he probably forgets that I'm Scrappy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into Surf Edge and go for the Quick Attack, and that was the most amazing way to take out a Dragapult. Also really helps that I was able to have the um, toxic on it earlier, and yeah, all that stuff. So Blastoise comes in and I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Blade and between that the Toxic and another Quick Attack. So maybe it just appeared as though my Sir was Bandit or something, which was my original plan, but I went for the Lum, um, the Lumberry just in case something like an Arcanine wanted to will o -Wisp or a Weezing wanted to Toxic or, and that's why it was also important for me to go into the Skunk and get rid of the toxic spikes earlier. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't go into Surfetch when I thought it would have been a better play. But anyway, so Leaf Blade um, is weirdly enough doing more damage than anything else to this Weezing. Um, I didn't bother calcing it. I was just like, I really don't need um, Surfetch anymore. And I can just go into Chandelure and freely fire off a Shadow Ball right here for the 2-0 win. So good game, of course, to my opponent. That was a really fun game. That Dragapult set was really spooky. I like the Arcanine tech that would have really brought down Chandelure. Blastoise was scary as heck. If I had been banded on Surfetch, that would have just been like, ah, oh, no, I'm... And, you know, Aurora Veil was really spooky. Like, if he had started setting up with Dragapult under the Veil, that would have just been, like, really bad news bear for me. And, yeah, the, the, the Solar Beam tech. Ah! The Solar Beam tech. Yeah, but luckily Chandelure, Rotom, and Surfetch were able to come through really hard. Clefable is just kind of dead weight and, and all that. So yeah, I remembered how to play Pokemon again. Ah, that's uh, such such a great uh, being able to, you know, know how to play this game again. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, everybody. So stay tuned for the next week, which will be coming next Thursday or Friday or whenever the heck. But yeah, that's all I've got for today. So like the video if you liked it. Comment down below if you got anything else to say, and subscribe if you want to keep up with the PTL if you're new, if you want to keep up with the Wi-Fi League, which I recently posted the draft analysis for. So anyway, that's all I've got for today, so I'll see everyone in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.